always a pleasure to be in the Pyrenees. This is the Chateau de la Motte, a charming bed and breakfast nearby the small town of Oloron Sainte Marie. Every year, thousands of hikers pass close to the chateau as they cross the region on their way to Spain, following the path of the famous pilgrimage, the Santiago de Compostela. The pilgrims take the walk for many different reasons. Many take up the route as a retreat for their spiritual growth. So I thought I would do a little pilgrimage of my own to find out how a pilgrim can nourish himself in this stunning part of the Pyrenees. It was not long before I reached one of the many small farms that are open to visitors. Here, at La Ferme du Pessas, I am greeted by pigs, chickens and sheep. The farmer, Olivier, has a little shop where he sells farm-made used milk cheese, along with a variety of charcuteries, including jars of terrines, salami, ham and smoked pork. My pilgrimage must continue, and happily, I have walked into the next village just at lunchtime. Here, I find lots of restaurants have affordable menus for pilgrims. La garbure bernaise is the most popular dish with the pilgrims. It's a vegetable soup with some beans, some pork meat and cabbage. Nourishing. My hunger now satisfied and back on the path, I am wishing I had a fishing rod as I cross many fast flowing torrents and rivers. My mind is wandering as I dream of recipes for wild trout and especially salmon. This delicious salmon tartare is so easy to prepare. First, I finely dice 100 grams of fresh salmon and place it in a bowl. I then add two tablespoons of finely diced avocado, one tablespoon of finely cut chives, half of a finely chopped shallot, two drops of Tabasco sauce, a teaspoon of finely grated lemon zest and one tablespoon of olive oil. It is a must for all the ingredients to be very fresh. Next, I combine the ingredients very gently. I then spoon half of the tartare into a ring mold, top with half a tablespoon of salmon roux, and spread over one tablespoon of whipped crème fraîche. I garnish the top with a little more salmon roux and sprinkle with chives. This tartare de saumon looks superb and tastes even better. What better place to end my pilgrimage than at Chateau de la Motte, which was the summer residence of the local bishops for 600 years. After a great day in the Pyrenees, it's nice to relax with a glass of sweet Jurançon wine and a slice of gâteau basque garnished with almonds and custards. This is my kind of pilgrimage. Tomorrow, for my second day in the Pyrenees, I will learn about the great ham-making tradition of the region. 